Learn how to light LEGO photos like this with just a flashlight on your phone. Hi everyone, I'm 4 Bricks Tall, and I'm going to be showing you how I shot 4 photos using this as my key light. Now this is a hard light source, and if you don't know what a hard light source is, check out my other video about the characteristics of light. I'm going to be shooting mostly brick built scenes today, but you can apply the knowledge that you learn here with natural environments or crafted dioramas. My first shot is going to be in my Galen's drone mock, which is this thing over here. Let's get shooting. For this first photo, I'm using a couple of sections of my Galen's Row Mock as the background. This is similar to shooting with those dollhouse type or half buildings that LEGO sells as official sets. So I'm all set up and I'm just going to compose my shot first. Remember, composition always first. Then I'm manually focusing on the subject for precision. I'm going to turn on the phone flashlight and turn off the video light so we can see the effect better. What I want is for the window light to light the face. This is my key light. So I'm going to just push the phone around until I like where the light lands. I don't have much control over the flashlight except for distance, so I'm going to slow down my shutter speed to brighten up the scene. I can see the highlights are starting to clip. Let's take a shot anyway to see. I kind of like this already. I like the patterns of light on the gate behind. So yeah, my main light is in place. Time to add the second light, the fill light, which is a cheap LED lamp I bought for my kid. And now I can dial back up the shutter speed since I have more ambient light. I'm just trying to position this light so it lifts the shadows on the street. Let's take a shot. And let's see the one with just the key light. Much better. Let's see if some mist can give it an extra dimension. It's very subtle, which is good. Like with everything else, don't overdo it. And here's the setup we ended with. I'm happy with the lighting now, so I'm going to add some props to create a stronger concept. The second photo of the Viking baby is more challenging. It's shot inside the enclosed longhouse of the Viking village set. Here's the interior with the wall and roof off. You can see it's really tight. Luckily, I can just take that section of the model. I've already set up my Asteroid probe lens, and I've also hooked up some tiny LEDs that I'll cover in another video. Again, I've got my phone flashlight on a mini tripod as my key light. And similarly, I'm just moving it so the light lands on the face of my subject. I'm slowing the shutter speed for more light, but look at that shaking. That's what it's like working with a very long lens. In comes my fill light. I only have that other window to light through, but it should raise the shadows. Let me just pop that roof off, which is another lighting option, but not what I want to do. It's harder to light through the windows, but it's also much more dramatic. The third shot is similar to the Viking baby photo because it's inside another completely enclosed space, this chapel. What I want is for some colors from the stained glass windows to be cast on the back wall for some visual interest. A little mist in there will help catch the rays and diffuse the light. These stained glass windows just slip right out, so it's easy to flip them to the exterior or change the colors, by the way. I've added a second phone light just to create that effect on the wall. And I've moved the other phone light, so it's now the key light for the subject I've placed inside. And that's a shot. For the last shot of Anton's cat in the old fishing store, I just backlit through the open door with a phone light. 
I also placed an LED panel to the left for fill. And that's it! Super cheap ways of getting dramatic lighting for LEGO photography. If you're a beginner or just broke, reach for your phone or any of the lighting that you have around your house and use that for your LEGO photography. When you need more control, that's when you upgrade to an LED panel or a flash. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. This is Forbrix Tall.